Yeah, just like subtle scent too. I like that. I guess. I love how we've taken this, like it's a wine tasting, but like swirl it, get the scent. <laughs> it's like we're at a wine tasting or something. We're tasting food from around the world. This is so exciting. We're in Epcot. It's kind of crowded right now because I realized tonight is actually the night that they have the special event for the people who ran in the food and wine uh, marathon or in the 5K, 10K, all that this weekend. They have like a special event going on and so they were saying there's like event check-in over there. So I don't know exactly where they're all gonna be, but we'll see how like crowd level wise is in this park. But yeah, we're just happy to be here. We're so excited. We're gonna probably get some food, some drinks. It's We're so crowded. crowded. It I is crowded though, crowded. yeah. I usually when I trip plan, I look at the run. <laughs> the race weekend, because yeah. because there hadn't been races in so long, I, I forgot about it. It wasn't like on our yeah, radar, but um, hopefully after the weekend, oh, maybe yeah. it'll clear up. It, it will then kind of die down, the crowds. But I can't wait for you guys to see Spaceship Earth with the lights on when it becomes oh, a right. beacon of magic. Like that is just like jaw dropping. Like that's how stunning it is. Oh my gosh, Goofy literally just walked out. <laughs> That's so fun. I can't get over how nuts it was seeing the construction when we were on the monorail. Like all of this area in here, it is gonna be a while. Like when do you predict, I need everyone's predictions, what is the date you think this will be complete? You mean the center yeah. part I'm saying 2024. 20, um, I don't. It depends. Are they, it depends they're not on, doing that two-tiered thing anymore. I know, which I wish they were. Kind of scrapped. And yeah, that was scrapped. Yeah, but, I mean, it's just right now looking at it, it just looks like there's all these holes. Maybe 2024. Yeah. Like, I, I don't even know if I can say 2023. But either way, we're all going to be living here. When? <laughs> that opens. <laughs> Because yeah, 2023, when these two move down, will be the earliest I think that that would be ready to go. That's something that I've thought about for years and it just really makes me so happy to think about. It's like now moving forward, like every single opening day, every single special occasion like that, like getting to be here for it, getting to be here right away as soon as it opens. I, I can't wait for that. It's gonna be awesome. Like when this these sections start opening, we'll get to come right over and check it out. Our first stop of the night in Epcot. We are here in the Lamb Pavilion, of course, and we'd love to do Live with the Lamb because it's our fave. <laughs> it's the people mover of Epcot, as I refer to it. And we're very thirsty. We want to get a little drink in here, refresh, and then we'll be ready for the evening. All right, we grabbed a water from the Sunshine Seasons. Now we're ready to hit Living with the Lamb. This will be our first Epcot ride of the trip. <laughs> Which is very appropriate for us because like I said, I, I seriously think this is my favorite possibly in this park. I love so many things in this park, but I, I don't know, like this is always the ride. This is always the ride that I say, like if I could transport myself to Epcot right now and ride something, it, it would be this. This is what I love. This relaxes me. It's just like my Disney peaceful moment. Beautiful forks cover only a tiny portion of the Earth's surface, but they contain more than half of its like the gator that pops up right here. Oh, that's like misty coming off there. Oh, there's the gators. Here they are. <laughs> so they have the Christmas lights installed, but they're not turned on yet. So I think maybe one day this week is gonna be like the kickoff to the Christmas overlay here on Living with the Land. They probably are like not 100% done with it yet, getting everything ready. If plants on Mom pointed out they need the Sandman. Many of these, like <laughs> That's the iconic thing they have during the, the cow, Christmas overlay in here. Are well known around the world. I bet he's gonna go like right here. <laughs> these are just a few. Wouldn't that be something if they actually put them there? An important source of new leathers are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Growing here, wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two thirds of our global food consumption. This is where they still have like the food and wine set up. 
And like, this is so fun. Like, I want to come on a little like <laughs> picnic here in the living with the land. Some of our best ideas have been. Okay, we're coming out of the land pavilion, and I was like, the lights are on, it's happening. And they just did like the little light up like show that it goes through. Oh my gosh. What do you think? Beautiful. Seeing it in person. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> so bright. It is. Like, that's what you can't really tell that on camera. And then, like, being here in person, you're just like, whoa. Like, it's, if you stare right at it, it's almost, like, blinding after a while. It's so bright. I love it. Oh, I love the music back here. This is, like, that original I've Got Music. Okay, Figment looks like it is a walk-on right now. So, that is our plan. Figment, I love him so much. He's my guy. <laughs> he is absolutely my guy. And yeah, we gotta give Figment some love. It's like, people should be over here. Why isn't Figment a longer line? <laughs> I love how all the colors out here start to be figment. You have the yellow, purple, the orange chair. It's all figment colors happening. So this is probably like a solid, like actual five minute wait. And I feel like recently we haven't really gotten to like be stopped here. And it's so cool seeing like you can really take in all of the details of the queue. <laughs> Imaginations run wild. Here we go. Bienvenidos. Para su seguro, mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del vehículo. See how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh, can I go too? Absolutely not. Taste my chicken. Can I go? Please, please, please. No, I don't want you out of my sight. Out of sight? Okay. Come on, everybody. You can see things differently. <laughs> sure, you can see with your eyes, but imagine what you can see if you used your imagination. Follow the bouncing figment. Familiar smells come to play. Killing the play? <laughs> I love you. Figment, this is not a good time. It's always a good time to use your imagination. So let the good times roll. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's actually playing with his shadow right now, making his shadow dance. Look at him. I did not know he was ever out here this late. Look at him. <laughs> okay, this is all brand new to mom and dad. They have not seen the creation shop yet. And I think we want to try to go into Club Pool, if it's not a long line, because they do usually have right now a queue out front of it, because they can only let so many people in at a time, which I do like that they're doing that, because then you have a more enjoyable experience while you're in there, being able to, you know, have your own station and try everything. And that's something, when I was down here last month, we just never had the time. There was always a line outside when we'd walk past. We never had the time to stop and do. So I have not yet experienced, this would be a brand new first for me, experiencing the new club cool so we're gonna check out the line if it is crowded we'll come back we're gonna this is still just our first day of vacation so we're gonna have time to do all this this week but yeah that's what we're gonna go check out right now also what do you guys think of creations it's right over here very different very different i know i mean it's a nice looking shop but it's kind of lost some lacks the nostalgia yeah, the, yeah. yeah. classic epcot mm -hmm. there's creations Oh, there's that dog toy thing. The cheese that has the mice in it. Mickey would love that. Oh, I want to get Mickey that rat. 
That one's a dog toy, yes, that they can pull the things out. Yes, I think that's what it is. I mean, it looks like that. I'll have to look at that. Yeah. Have to look at the puppy relations. Uh. <laughs> Our puppy relations, yes. Mocha and Rocky, they would love that. It's actually not that long a line, so I think we're gonna go ahead and get in. I am so looking forward to this. So all of the flavors are brand new from, you know, we had the club pool that was here for years in Epcot and then went away in like 2019, I wanna say. And then this just literally reopened like a few months ago, like back in early fall. And yeah, I am so excited. All the flavors are different, except for they had to bring back Beverly because that's the one that everybody loves to hate is Beverly. <laughs> so that one came back, but everything else is different and I'm very excited to get to try it. Yeah, I really don't care. Okay, we are inside and we just came over here to get into the line. They said the line was to the left and then they have a cast member that will direct you to when a station opens up. Ooh, that's so fun. I love all the Coke products. Ooh, look at this. This is really cool. It's the Shake It Up dice game, but I think it's basically Yahtzee, but it looks like a Coke can. That's fun. I guess I'll Mom just said she's out with Beverly. No. You're like, you were like, it tastes like blood. <laughs> I know it's good, but I'm like, it's iconic. Like I feel like it's been gone for so long. Like we gotta welcome it back. I'll probably do it, but I'll probably do it. I'll do it at the end so it doesn't like ruin my taste buds for everything else. Then it's stuck in your. And then whatever my favorite one was. This is my plan. Try all the new ones. Do a shot of Beverly, and then whatever was my favorite, end on that. So that then that's what hopefully will stay in my mouth. Okay, we just got our station. They sent us down here to the very end. The floor is starting to get that stickiness, like the classic old style All club right. cool. All right, what are we going in on first? Madagascar? I'm doing Beverly. Are you doing Beverly first, Dad? Okay, he's gonna do it first. I'm gonna do the other things. I'm gonna do my original plan. Do the other things and then do Beverly to end. Then end on my absolute favorite. Yeah, I can't do it. So Mom's doing that one. Here we go, this is Ma Madagascar. Cheers. Cheers. And then you beat the Smells fruity. Oh, I like it. Oh, it's good. Yeah, it's tropical. Oh, Madagascar is good. So yeah, it's bonbon. What's it called? The bonbon angelus? What is that? Exclusive to Madagascar. Offers a unique taste experience with a blend of tropical fruit flavors. I like this. Okay, this is starting off strong. Mm. That's really good. Creamy tropical fruit taste mm. of the Country Club Nine from yes. the Dominican Republic. So Country Club is next. This is from the Dominican Republic. I'm very excited to try this. Fun fact, I've actually been to the Dominican Republic. I do not recall seeing this drink there um, in any of the resorts that I was at, but let's see. Okay. Yes, yeah, test. Oh yeah, it's like, wait, this is gonna sound bizarre, but this reminds me of, do you remember I had that one Barbie that had like her hair smelled like a certain way? Like it was like a beachy scent? That's what this smells like. It is clean. It's like a cream like that. soda. It's like a cream soda, but instead of like an orange creamsicle, it tastes a little more like natural maybe. Like I sometimes I think orange creamsicle is like too, I don't know, like artificial. Like this, I'm sure this is artificial, but like it doesn't taste artificial to me. Mm. Okay, now we're doing Korea. So yeah, I'm finishing up. So far, both the ones I've had, Madagascar and Dominican Republic are like a huge, huge step up. Okay, so far just from those two, I'm liking these flavors more than like the original Epcot flavors that we had. Okay, so now we are doing, this is Minute Maid Joy from Korea. Oh yeah, wait, this smells Tastes like water, water it down. Tastes like water down. It's an apple, it's, a, it's like, Oh, I like it. Juice. I don't like it. It's like a watered down apple, but it's like subtle. It's kind of like a nice palate cleanser, like in between them. I kind of like it. Mom and Dad said it's a no, but I kind of like it. Sparkling. So what is that one? This is now the Philippines we're on to, which is yeah. royal watermelon. Oh, okay. Watermelon. Let's try it. Ooh, interesting smell. All of them have like very iconic smells. So. <laughs> That one is like the most sparkling, I think. <laughs> like the most carbonated and like kind of bubbly. <laughs> you guys both said no to that one. I kind of like it, but I don't like it as much as the other. Like, China, I think this is like, yeah, it's not supposed to be good. 
Okay, like China is the one that everyone says tastes like barbecue. Yeah, you can dump that out. Everybody that we've like seen that's tried this one says that it has like a barbecue aftertaste, which I just can't even imagine in a soda. So I am very curious. Oh yeah, look at it. It's kind of like a brownish. And I guess Coke is like regular brown color. Oh wait, it smells, it like, smells like, 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 like kind of smells like barbecue. Oh no. I think mom thinks it smells like licorice. I seriously think it smells like barbecue. No, it, it tastes exactly like like that brown and salt you put into a gravy. Oh. I forget the name of it. Uh, like simple. Like a great. I no, I get that. I do get. That. It's bizarre. It's almost like a savory soda, which you don't want. I'm so intrigued though. I want to keep yeah, we need a new cup after this one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about done with that. That's like it's interesting though, like it's not completely gross. Like it's definitely not gross that I'm like try it. But it's weird, it tastes like barbecue in your mouth after all. This is insane. This is one I'm looking forward to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Sprite Cucumber. So yeah, this is Russia. This is Sprite Cucumber, which I love traditional Sprite and that addition of Cucumber. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Oh yeah, it's like a spa water. It's like a spa water, but with a little bit of bubbly, like a little bit of sparkling in there. Mm. That also is a good palate cleanser after what we just had with China. That's really good. Oh yeah, I'm a big fan of the Sprite. Um, now this one is Moldovia. Moldovia? It's um, raspberry. Viva so raspberry. Sparkling raspberry. Well, that sounds good. We're gonna try. This is our last one, and then of course we have Beverly. But <laughs> we're gonna try. Okay, Moldova. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's really good. Just like a nice, simple raspberry. I like that. Yeah, just like subtle scent to it. I like that. I love how we've taken this, like it's a wine tasting, we like swirl it, get the scent, and it's like we're at a wine tasting or something. We're tasting sodas from around the world. Oh yeah, so wait, what did you say, Mom? What's your favorite? Well, I like Madagascar. I agree with you. And this great cucumber. I feel like, yeah, I'm up there with you with those. Let me see what this one I know, I think my two favorites are the Bon Bon from Madagascar and the Country Club from Dominican. Also, I liked one of these down here. I'm trying to remember. The watermelon was good. Also, I was a fan of, I thought this one was kind of subtle, like a good palate cleanser. I think if you mix these two together, uh, oh, mix the bonbon and the country yeah. club? Okay. Yeah, it's a toss up. I think maybe yeah. this and this. Those are your two favorites, yeah. Yeah, yeah mix them together. Pretty good. Oh, Dad mixed them. Okay. I want Beverly. Oh. I promised a Beverly shot for the vlog. Oh, I promised it. Okay, here. Here, you're going to get me. Cheers. Here's my Beverly shot. That one tastes like campfire. Oh, why did I do that? I'm still going to finish it that one. Okay. It just, it, it's not good. <laughs> but everyone loves to hate it, and it's so iconic, and I'm, you know, I'm happy it's back. I'm happy it's back. Now I need to end on a good one. Here, mix these two. So what's my, okay, yeah, let me do my dad's mixture here. So you mix those two. Yep. Mix Madagascar and Dominican. Cheers. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay, yeah, I think my favorite it's one of these two. We're gonna have to determine which one, but yeah. This was exciting, we did it, yay! Look, the 50th wrap monorail is coming through. I'm so happy we got to do that tonight. We've gotten to do a lot of things today on our first day. That was so fun. I love tasting all the flavors from around the world. I'm so happy that that is back here at Epcot. It's so iconic. I'm just so happy they brought that back. So very happy that we now can like make new memories with all these new flavors and everything and get to go in there and keep figured out which one is our absolute favorite. All right, now we're heading into World Showcase. Right now we're passing through our favorite food and wine booth, Flavors from Fire, is right here. Dad said he might get some. Oh, is he going to get something? Yeah, there you go. That's very smart. I had mentioned this in my last vlog series that I think it was my last day in Epcot on my last trip. I was saying how, you know, I was that trip I was specifically down here for the 50th anniversary. And the Food and Wine Festival was going on. It had been going on since like August. So it was food and wine, but 
we were doing so many other things. See, I was doing so many other things, like focusing on the 50th and everything, that I did not even try one, I get from the Food and Wine Festival, I tried nothing. So I feel like this is really my first visit to the Food and Wine Festival for the 2021 year, even though I've technically been here. So I'm excited to start trying things. And tomorrow we are having a full Epcot day, so I can imagine there's gonna be tons of food. Okay, to start off the Food and Wine Festival for this season, we've gotten our favorite festival item for me, year after year, this is it right here. The smoked corned beef. Look at it, and it looks kind of different this year too. But yeah, it's the best with the house-made chips, the corned beef, the cheese fondue. This is where it's at every year. I cannot wait to have this. Spaceship Earth is like doing this little show right behind me there. And it's like periodically throughout the night, they'll just do that, but it's like the lights will just start to twinkle and I love it so much. So we just had our smoked corned beef. That is always a winner every single year. Five out of five, starting it off. What did you say? That, yeah. Five out of five. That's yeah. a good one. It's such a good one. So yeah, that's our rating scale. We always do our like out of five rating scale and that every year five out of five it's amazing I, last year i think was the first year they added the cheese curds to it and that just enhances it even more it's amazing get that get that from flavors of fire everything actually from flavors of fire is just a winner so we're definitely going to try more stuff probably tomorrow when we're here whoopie pie you didn't like the whoopie oh we didn't I, I think i like the whoopie pie i'll have to go back and watch that but the savory vlog. dishes are but good. yeah i agree it, it wasn't like spectacular but the savory dishes that's where it's at, it's at um, Flavors from Fire over there. See, now we're gonna peek inside the Odyssey building and they have in here actually some booths for the Food and Wine Festival. They have like the Wings booth and everything. So we're gonna go in and see what's, see what's happening. I don't think we're gonna get anything in here, but we're just gonna walk through and see. Yeah, also in here, this is the Epcot experience where you can go in and see the movie that they have that shows everything that is coming to Epcot. And yeah, here's the brewing experience. So they have beer, they have the wings that you can get. Here's a little look at the menu they got. But it's a porter, right? It's a porter now. Um, oh, that would be good. Huh. Yeah, the blood orange or the pineapple. Oh, and the pineapple is a blonde ale. I that could be interesting. Day, since I had so much carbonation. Yes, yeah, Club Cool. <laughs> Get it into World Showcase now. Such a close walk from Epcot, just up over that bridge. Here is the beach club. Now I'm extra excited that we came here. They have the gingerbread carousel in here. Oh my gosh. Oh, and you see, look, this one's Ariel. And there's Scuttle. Oh, look, the wreath on there. 